everybody had a great Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year coming up. So, uh, I'm not an electrician. I just want to let everybody know I'm, I'm, this is high-powered electricity I'm building with. And you could get hurt if you're not careful. Just let me do all the experimenting. And this is basically for fun and entertainment. Entertainment and educational purposes only. That being said, on with the show. Oh yes, and uh, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining the team. All right, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. And uh, just want to let everybody know I'm not an electrician. And I basically, I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm having a blast. We can't use these hot water element. I should have knew better. <laughs> it made a great test. This is the one I used to get it up to 440 degrees. But look what happened to it. It's gone. There's nothing left. It's crystallized. I can't believe it even kept working. <laughs> so don't use those for that. They're great for hot water though. I'm going to make a hot water here out of one. I made this cover for the grill element because some of that sand was moist and it was causing it to corrode. So hopefully it doesn't interfere with the heat much. But uh. And I took the handle off the outside, put these pop rivets in the existing holes, cut the handle down to this size so I can mount it on the inside with the original little brackets. I'm doing that now. New handle, shortened up. To fit on the inside now. I had to put the handle on the inside instead of leaving it on the outside because it wouldn't fit inside the other can correctly. So that was my fix. Also, I had this connected to the wires for the first test I did when I got up to like 200 degrees a few days ago. And it's damaged this, so we don't want to use these. They're just not made for this DC power. So I ran the wires direct. I'm gonna just run them directly to the panels. No plug. I've got a cement board, heat board on the bottom here, all sealed up with silicone in all the corners. Silicone is good to about 400 degrees. I'm not expecting any kind of heat like that in this outer area. Here's the duct work. Cold air in, hot air out. Here's our heater. So we're coming along here. I'm thinking another day. These conduits will go in there with the plastic inserts so the wires can't get damaged going through the conduit here. sealed the conduit and the exhaust pipes with this nasty silicone. Boy, that stuff's messy. Ready to start putting the outer skin on. I've got about two inches of sand down in here with these blocks. Filled it up with sand and gravel. 
almost to the top. I don't know if you can see that very good. This is filled up with sand here. I had to cut the lip off this lid and take the handles off the outside. I think I got that in another clip. So it's ready to go. Ready for fire. 